Alrighty, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to you on Instagram. We're coming to you here on Facebook as well. We're going to wait for this audience to uh, slowly build up. People are coming on as we're speaking. And man, have we got a treat for you this evening. We, you all know that I'm obsessed with uh, content creation, content curation, getting the best of the best from Australia, New Zealand, even went to New York, went and got Gary Vaynerchuk, even, you know, um, got David Goggins, David Goggins, which is coming to Australia in January, who I'm going to be interviewing, Tom Ferry, I interview, you know, uh, uh, maybe I've interviewed, I would say, 50 times 10, probably 500 agents that have either done over 100 sales a year or million dollar agents over the last decade. And today, the guy next to me here, um, he was in Sydney, so it would be remiss of me not having the opportunity to interview Vlad the man himself, one of the best, if not in Australia, I would say Australasia. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me, man. It's an absolute pleasure. I appreciate so, it. I appreciate it. Okay, so Vlad, um, can I, Vlad, can I can, Let's for go the video? With go, yeah, Vlad, go, that's Vlad, the name anyway. Yeah. That's the name. Okay. Yeah, so, 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 Vlad, uh, hey Jesse, hi to everyone that's coming on here, right? right? This guy's here, an absolute gun. As you can see, the people are, you know, very, right. yeah. Okay, so, so Vlad, um, can I firstly ask you, um, why did you get into why did you get into real estate, brother? Look, uh, I've I've been like courier driving, truck driving most of my life. Right, that's kind of how I started. Like, so you didn't you come know, straight out of school into real estate? No, no, hey, bro. Like, if I did that, who knows where I would have been by now? I like, could have been owning offices left, right, and centers. But I started like trucking, yeah. courier with my cousin. As we're doing that and this and that, every time I'm rolling up to like the tolls, people like are going, bro, you got the gift of the gabba and they're going, you can stitch it like the way you talk and stuff, like I'm yeah. getting off tolls free. They're going, bro, you're good at what you do, like you're good with the mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. So pe people were telling you that and you, you thought to yourself. No, I didn't think anything. Right. No, I just kept driving, I threw a gun on, started getting a little bit like smoking durries, flicking them out the window, all the bad stuff. Got you. <clears throat> My missus kind of hacked me at that point. I come like home. She goes, you've gone even bigger. Anyway, one day, one of the toll guys goes to me, he goes, bro, you got to get into real estate. Like, it's good. So I, it started getting me thinking, bro. I go, maybe, maybe this is something. Who knows? But right. I was like so far away. But then I started jogging, getting shredded. Yeah. As I'm getting shredded, my head starts clearing up. And then my cousin Vlad, he's also a cousin, another Vlad. So he, you're Vlad, he's Vlad. There's two Vlads, there's plenty of Vlads in the family. I'm okay. not sure how, if you look back in the line, there's probably 14, 15, maybe 18, I'm not sure. But there's a lot of Vlads. Mm. Like if you go back, I'm saying. Right. Like in Sydney, there's two of us. Okay, so so, but he so, got, he so for the purposes of, of the interview here, we don't have to care too much about the, no, the, no. the, the Vlads, the whole thing. You, there's this Vlad and you. Yeah, and that Vlad, yes. not this one that you're right. looking at right now. Okay. That Vlad was like the catalyst. Like he goes, look, he goes, you got to get into real estate because he just bought a house and he noticed the guy, the real estate agent, he was shredded like me, driving a mad car, hair macular. This, can I just say this thing you've said shredded mm. two, three times now. Yeah. What's this? Like, like what are you looking at? Have a look up and down. He's shredded beyond belief. That's what it is. Shredded, like tone of the body, shape, shredded, bro. Like normal, like fitness, shredded. It's important in real estate? I think it is important in general life, even if you're a trucky. Like, get shredded. Yeah. It's more comfortable, you know, your back out because your gut's dragging you forward. Anyway, health and stuff. Like, that's all I'm saying. So, 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 <laughs> so, I mean, look at this. Look at the numbers we've got up here. We've got 311, uh, 311 viewers here watching this, mate. Um, can I just ask, some fucking prick's gone here and uh, asked what's with the glasses? Some person there. What, 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 what? Yeah, you get the glasses, bro. Like, I'm going to say this once. I'm not going to repeat it. Tune in if you want to know why I'm wearing the glasses. It's called strategies. The glasses are fast. 
I'm a sportsman. Right. I don't want to come out with my eyes getting all dry and stuff, putting in clear eyes. I throw the glasses on, I go through life like, if you could see the visions that I'm getting through these things, you'd wear them too. But no one wants to do it because they're worried about what people are going to think, bro. Uh -huh. That's also with the hairstyle. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's got the same hair. Like, you've rocking the, not really, the modern hair. It's pretty yeah. good what you got. But no one's going to rock this like what I'm doing. So it's just strategies, man. So, so, so not everyone gets so, that. So, so, can we, can we, can we, can we go, can we go a little bit back to? So, Vlad's got you in, suggested that you cousin, go into yeah, your cousin, cousin, your cousin, Vlad, yeah. right? You start fucking training up, shred up, you know. Shredded, yep. Do you buy your sh the shirts when when you're shredded? Mm. You buy slim fit shirts. I've got to buy slim, but not like too slim, not like Matt Steinway shirt. Right. I've seen that bloke. You yeah. can see his organs through the shirt. Right. I don't need a shirt so tight where you can see your heart beating. Right. Like, to me, it's like fitted, but not ridiculous like Enrique Iglesias in real estate. I don't okay. want to get that tight. Okay. Like, just fitted. I buy a slimmer. No one wants to wear a shirt that a secchi would wear. That's a what? A security guard. You never see right. a security guard in a fitted shirt. They usually wear the box fit. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so, so. Can I ask you, mm. so, 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 so you get in and now you're fucking smashing it. Yeah. You're one of the best, yeah. right? And I'd love to know, for the audience watching this now, um, what are some of the daily rituals that you've got for, not, not just in business, but in personal? Because it's just... Yeah, of course, bro. Like, personal is the main thing I think about. Business is like... A, it's like breathing, like I'm breathing in and out, like personal's the lungs, business is the oxygen. It's all happening, twisting together. Like I don't think of two, I'm running in the morning. Yes. Like I get up, I run by myself. I don't want anyone around me do my head in. No, you don't do classes? I don't do classes, go on a CrossFit, people yelling at me, lift up our box, jump on our box. I've already like shredded, that's one. Right. Plus I like to run in the, in the forest like a lone wolf almost. If, I, if I'm gonna go to CrossFit, someone's gonna distract me, probably gonna see why, they're gonna ask me, why is there so many salt stickers around? I don't need that in the morning. You don't need that. You, you so want, my ritual your is time. like two hours of like lone wolf in the forest. Right. Like Tarzan almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ups on trees. Yeah. I do dips like, who knows, on some rocks. Just strategies of like, that's the ritual in the morning. And so, then I throw down so a few are, goals. Are, are you, do you wake, like what time you wake up in the morning? Oh, 5.30, maybe 5. Right. five before 6, definitely. My daughter does my head in before 6. Over the monitor screaming. So I'm up. Right. So it's either her or me. Okay. So you, the way you start your day is the way your day unfolds. I always say it. Yeah. And you start off, mate, you start off at having an incredible morning ritual, which starts off with you doing fitness work yes yeah, sh just strategies like right. shredded strategies strategies it's one word one. twisted together okay and let me just ask you uh is there anything else you do in the like in the morning i eat after that like i'll throw back some smoothie or something T tamaric latte maybe A kombucha what? tamaric latte what? A turmeric. Turmeric latte. Tumeric. I don't know how to say it, bro. Right, right. <laughs> Some people know <laughs> turmeric. You, you, you like turmeric lattes? I throw them, it's health, bro. Like, I don't like kale. Right. My missus made like a kilo of kale in the oven before. I don't know what was like a forest in there. I come home, I'm waiting for some fish cooking. She's got like a kilo of kale cooking. Who cooks right. kale, bro? Right. And she goes, don't worry about it. It'll keep her shredded. So I just do See, what I, keeps I, me shredded. I can't help it. As I'm talking to you, Vlad, I, I notice that you've got this thing about having the right image, feeling good, you know, um, like um, uh, image is important in this business. I think it is. It's not overly important. Like, you can't be just image with no, like, character. Right. That's another thing. No one wants a shredded robot. Like, robots are shredded anyway. You right. don't see, like, a huge robot. They're all shredded because they have no character. So they've got to be shredded. But, like, twist the character with it. The combination? That makes you an immaculate germ. A what? what? Immaculate germ. That's another thing I was going to say. Yeah. I've been I've been told that you... I always say you've got to stand out to win out from the pack. And I've been told... To what? That stand out to what? You've got to stand out to win out. All right. But what does win out mean? Like, what do you mean win out? I'm win, trying to win up. 
That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, I suppose what I'm trying to get at is there's so many real estate mm. agents. Mm. you got to look different. Yeah, well, otherwise, you, you get okay, confused. You've got to stand out. You've got to stand out. 100%. Okay. So what I was going to say is um, your, even your business card, I've been told you don't want to look like your typical agent. Your business card itself. It's minimal. Steez. Like what's what's Steez is style with ease. Steez together. Immaculate agent. That's the name of my card. So when people get my card, it just says Vlad, mobile number, immaculate agent. It doesn't say principal, salesman. No, 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 no. Because that's boasting them, man. Like I'm a director. Most of these guys aren't directors. The director of his desk. <laughs> That's so, about it. He directs, he's like, nah. No. Nah. I just go with what I Because there's am. a bit of that, isn't there? There's a bit of real estate agents, director, sales director, director. Principal, of... there's another guy that's like a partner. What are you, a 1% partner? Do you own, like, what do you own? Just the cards in your office? Are you 80%? Throw the percentage of partner in if you're going to throw that word out there. That's all I'm saying. I know people that's a 5% partner. I'll never put 5% up there. You'd rather just put immaculate agent. Where people know what you are. That's me. Some people put salesperson. I'm not that. I'm immaculate agent, which is like the whole package of shredded, health, twisting, stitching, wrapping. You, can, the money you make, yeah. you buy toys? Can I ask what you drive? Audi. Straight away. That's it. It's always been Audi. Well, it wasn't always Audi. It was an Isuzu. Some truck that I used to drive before, but it's been Audi since real estate. And that's been the kind of the change in trajectory, that one. When I stitched the Audi, yes. that's when people started going like, who's this bloke? Who is he? Like, wanna rock up with the Audi? Can't rock up with a Kia or a Ford, worse. So you think the car or a good car yeah. affects the whole brand? Well, yeah, for me. This right. is, I'm only speaking, like, people go, why are you like Audi? What about Merc? Drive yeah. what you like, bro. What do you drive? A Tesla. A what? Don't please, not from that guy from America. The, the guy that charges the batteries in the car. Worst cars. What are you going to do with that? Is that the one that was in the driveway that yeah. you, you charge? Yeah. But what else are you charging, bro? The whole house is a charging station now. <laughs> You, you charge your phone, you're charging your watch probably if you've got Apple Watch. Yes. It's being charged now. Yeah, and, and the car, bro. And the car, you I saw it. I need a car that needs to be charged, bro. I get up in the morning, throw the key in it. It doesn't even have a key, it's keyless. Right. I start driving once a week every now and then, I throw some diesel in it. And that's it, bro. I don't want to go down to Canberra and forget my charger for my car and have to catch an Uber back. Who knows how it's going to cost, bro? Elon Musk, worst bloke. He wants to go to Mars, this guy. Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, but go, bro. <laughs> well, why, why constantly say I want to go to Mars, but you've never gone once? I'm going to Mars, I'm going to Mars. Go, bro. That's all I'm saying. Do guys, what you say. Guys and girls, if you're finding this useful, do me a favor. As David Walker says, he's, he's, he's enjoying watching this. Do me a favor. Can you please press the share button, man? Please press the share button. We're going to make sure that we're going to get you onto uh, Vlad's channel, right? Both on Insta and uh, Facebook. Get me onto Audi. If there's someone there here that stitches at Audi or wraps with Audi, throw a share there. Get a new car like mine's getting old at 18 months. Give me a car for the weekend, something, not a hatchback, but I don't want a hatchback. I want like a full, either it's got to be SUV or like sedan, sports back this day. If you get a hatchback, it's like I've got my P plates again. It's not working with a baby at the back and a hatchback. Right, so now the, you, you don't have a hatchback Audi. You've got, no, no, full drive, of course. And you've got a baby seat there. It has to stay there. Okay. That's using my other full time job, the, the kid. Right. So we'll talk, we'll talk about that in a moment, right? Um, um, man, I've got to say, um, fucking, we've got, listen, we've got nearly 500 viewers watching this live as we're going, right? I'm actually thinking to myself, this is going to be seen by 30,000 real estate agents by Wednesday afternoon. And I'm pumped about this because yeah. I know we're going to cover low fees in a moment, right? In yeah. fact, fees are an issue. Do you agree? Commissions, yeah, it's mate. The biggest, one of the biggest issues. The biggest. How do you cover commissions? Like commission cutting now, Vlad, anywhere in Australia, New Zealand, commission cutting is an issue. Yeah. Can we touch on it? Look, there's cowboys out there, bro. I'm not going to say it. When, when people see, like it happens everywhere. Now I'm seeing, forget about Uber. There's some other Ubers 
I don't know, you know what they call? They stick the stickers at the back. I saw one car with nine stickers at the back. He does Uber, hey, go, call me. Ola. Ola, this, yeah. that. There's, there's like 16 of them. So they see cash there. There's all these companies that go there. How do they get business, bro? They slash. They're cutting fees down. Correct. This is what these agents do. In our area, before I started, everyone was 2.5% plus. Right. 2.5. 2.5 plus. Right. Now, everyone's throwing 1.1% inclusive. That's it. And I don't twist like that. When I, when I got there, I go, I'm going to bring it back to the old days. I'm just going to show the client why I'm worth more. That's it. I'm not going to jump in the pool with all of these other people. The, right. the other Ola drivers, that's what I'm saying. I haven't got an Uber sticker on the back of the Audi. Some agents do. And they're the ones you've got to be careful of because at 1.1%, who in their right mind can survive, bro? Like, tell me, but Can you survive? You can't Su- survive. Su- no, you Susan's can't survive. watching. The- Susan's at 1.1, watch- you've got to do Uber in between. Like, I'll drop. All right, I've got an appointment down the road in Balmain. I'll throw an Uber on the way there. Yeah. Do the appointment. Uber someone on the way back to the office. I'll make that extra 80 bucks. That because you do that 40 times during the six week campaign, you might come up to like 1.8%. Without the Uber, you're gone, bro. You're gonna have to get two real estate jobs. No, no can handle I've that. I've got to tell you, time. mate, you're putting a, you're bringing in things that I hadn't thought of. You're, that's why, I'm, that's why I think you're successful. You've got an ability to see things from the other side, you know? You've got to, you've got to, so can I ask you, like, um, um, you love coffee? I love coffee, bro. Like, uh, sometimes too much. At the moment, detox. At the moment, I'm just sucking back Earl Grey's like an English person. The amount of Earl Grey's that I've gone, my teeth are going to go brown by the end of the month. But I love coffee. Yeah, why? 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 Oh, uh, can, I, got one. No, I, I don't have one now. I just want so quick right now. I'm uh, stinging. Uh, I'm stinging, but I won't have one. Yep. Disciplined and stuff. That's how I, I stay. When, when I start something, yeah. I'm going to finish it. And I've given myself 21 days coffee free now. So, anyway, but I do like coffee, yeah. I like that. Okay. So you, you have a coffee in the, in, in the morning at home? Or no? No, no. no. I, go, I go to specialty cafes. Like a barrister's going to make me a coffee. I don't, a I don't what? Know. A barrister. The guy that makes the coffee behind the thing. Barista. The, what, what would you say? Like that? It's spelled barrister, but barrister. Barrister. So you go to... The bar- bar- barista, whatever you call him, right. he cracks the coffee. Like, he's the agent for yeah. coffees. Yes. I'll go to him. I'm not going to do it at home. I'll probably be, like, blow-drying my hair. It'll spill everywhere. Because uh, I do it, at, like, Turkish style. Yeah. It's going to spill it. Anyway, the barrister makes the coffee. Get almond latte. Mate, your area is fucking competitive. What, for coffee? No, no, your real estate area is oh, competitive. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I know... For coffee, there's about nine in 100 metres. I don't know how Nine, nine cafes. Yeah. I don't know how What's your favourite coffee you have? Almond latte. It's a Al- bit embarrassing. Almond latte. You don't have to repeat it, bro. It's the worst coffee out there. But you but, like it. But I love it. You feel embarrassed when you ask? I say it like kind of quietly. If the barrister knows me, I'll just like go like that. All right. And he'll twist it and he'll just won't say anything. He'll put it down. Like he won't even put... Sometimes he'll throw like... Long black LB or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. To let people know, like, I'm a bit embarrassed about it. But if I have a long black, my head will spin. I'll start free falling on the way to an appointment. I had a long black before a listing the other day. I started sweating. Okay. I can't do so, that. So, 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 by the way, I want to let you know it's barista. You've said, like, you said it a few times. There's one time you said it right. It's barista. Barista. Which means it's a coffee maker. The guy, yeah. At okay. the back. Barista. Okay. I'll say it. Well, I thought it was Barista. Too barista. Now. Yeah, already the first guy that said it like that anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, what I was going to ask you is um, biggest comp- com- competition and how do you counter that? What person? Like what, one guy? Who no, is in no, my area? Uh, look, I'm not, let's... In real estate, you've got competition in your marketplace, mm. like other real estate agents. That's what we, yeah, what, of course. Correct? Yeah, of course. It's, you're not the only uh, person in your market. There's like too many of us. Correct. So Could we have to get rid of half of it. It would still be a lot. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Now you get I'm not going to be that guy. I'm just going to be the guy that stitches out of control. 
a rap out of control, then I'd just be me. But you, you, there's a lot. Can I just, for the for the purposes of clarity for the audience, you've used the term stitch and out of... Con- stitch, what's... Explain that. Like, do the deal. Is that... You stitch it. Like, like, if something's not done up... Right. It, well, just say you, you tear your jacket. Yeah. And if someone stitches it, what do they do? Puts it together again. There you go. You've said it. Yourself. Okay, fucking good. Makes sense. Okay, so so um, I want to ask you how your biggest competition and how do you counter them? <sighs> probably my biggest competition is myself. Like I would say. I like that answer. That will probably be the guy in the mirror. I like that answer. The scales. That's another one. Yes. Like when I look at the scales some mornings, the scales won. Let's just put it that way. And I've lost. Yeah. Not wait, because day one, I've lost. So, like, I shouldn't be eating too much sometimes. Or I'm not in the strategies. But, but yeah. the biggest competition in real estate. Yeah. I mean? Yeah. Probably John with the Ford, I would say. John with the Ford. Yeah, he's a lot. There's a guy there. in your area that's called John. He's got a Ford. John with the Ford. Most people in my area know who this bloke is. Man. He's a nightmare, but some, he's people a nightmare. Like, some people like him. I don't, but. Not on a personal level, on a real estate level. I'm not bothered with him. Right. So he uh, he wins a bit of business against you? Yeah, miraculously. I don't know how. But yeah, maybe if I don't turn up to the listing, you'll win it. But sometimes he has won it. I'll, I'll give your respect, John. If you're watching this, you probably are. You've done all right sometimes, and you might be like the guy, like Batman's nemesis, the Joker. You, you look more like the Penguin. But you're keeping me sharp, obviously shredded and on point. So I just wanna I wanna say thanks to you, John. I will never say it in real life. So you get this one little glimpse and hopefully we can. What's this wipe fucking this person video. here? Wipe the wipe the powder off your nose. They make sarcastic joke about You can't please everyone, bro. It's simple as that. If I can please ninety five percent of my client base, which is rate my agent, if you go look at my cousin Vlad. There are people writing testimonials. This is it. Look, someone else goes, when can people can't take a joke? It's not a joke, bro. I don't understand what some part guy, of this is a joke. Some guys just said there, who doesn't turn up on a listing? No, no, no. If no, he's so I, good... I, this is like John with the Ford. Look, some, look what some smart ass says. If he's so good, what's with the cheap glasses? All right. But go buy him, bar, bro. Buy him, throw the photo up, send it to Tom. I was always the people in the stadium that are yapping a lot and the players never say anything. <laughs> it's always the people, 15,000 yelling, they've never touched the ball. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying nothing. All right, John? Okay. Can I ask you another question? The modern real estate agent style, what do you think of it? You come from a very strong real estate background, right? And we've seen a new emergence of new modern agents, right? What do you think of today's modern agent style? Look, a lot of them, a lot of them are top blokes that have just been led the wrong way. I don't know whether they're looking at Grace Brothers pamphlets or like Myers or who knows what they're dressing in, but half of them look like they're at the the races, the horse races. Yes. That's not strategies to me, Tom. Like, I'm a traditional bloke. Yeah. I come out with a dark suit, white shirt, hair immaculate, dark tie. I'm winning business left, right, and centers. Yeah. If I turn up in chinos yeah. with a pink shirt and some purple jacket yeah. and no socks and slip-on shoes... Yeah, yeah. How am I going to stitch like that, bro? How are you going to... Some guy that's been to war, he survived World War II, he's finally paid off his house after 60 years working in the railway, and now some guy with no socks turns up to list it. Okay. Uh, what do you think this guy's... What guy is that, bro? Why do you think this guy's fucking smashing it? You can't... If he goes, please take off your shoes to come inside, we don't want... And you're going to walk around with your feet out. Have you seen the state of people's feet? Like, what is it, but Some feet... A catastrophe, you can't take your shoes off. So throw a sock on, keep it traditional. That's just my opinion. Okay. I'm not preaching. Okay. I'm not preaching. I'm stitching. So what you're basically saying is this Grace Brothers catalogue, whatever it is, Roger David, um, the no sock look, tight chinos, it's not you. You... Like, it's all right after hours. Like, if someone invites me to a two-year-old's birthday with my daughter... I have a couple of West Coast coolers. I'll throw on like a pair of 
pastel coloured pants, but I'm not going to rock up on a Monday looking like a game show host. I get it. That's I, just me, Tom. I get like, it. I get it. I get most it. of the inner city guys, they all come out. All right, look, I'm going to give you guys credit where it's due. If you're rapping out of control, wear it. Because you've got too much business anyway. That outfit is probably to get rid of business. Got you. That's what I'm thinking. I understand. But people like me who are like, oh, I want more business because, like, you You're know, in growth set mode. yourself up, bro. Leave, like, in 10 years' time. When I'm going to stay till I'm 80, who knows what golf course I'll be flickering on at that age. I'm probably, probably America. The Masters and stuff. Can I, can I ask you this question? Yeah. You're yeah. open for inspections. Saturday was an open day. We had a chat yesterday. You were a busy day. I want to ask you, what sets your opens apart? Look, in regards to yesterday, I had to cancel two. If anyone watched anything that I've done, I stitched two on Friday night. I wrapped them. Yeah. So <clears throat> I had to cancel two. But the other ones, like what I try to do, man, like I try to bring personality into them. Bring a guitar. Like I can play guitar. You take on, a guitar to the open. Acoustic, bro. I'm not going to set up an amplifier like ACDC. Acoustic guitar. Right. A little C. Then I'll get like crispy. My assistant is going to bring like a tamarick latte, like a little vase and stuff like that. Yeah. With a little handle, tamarick lattes. Right. They're going to come in. There's music in the background. I throw the guitar in, play a bit of Bon Jovi greatest hits. Anything like old school. Could be even new school, Brian Adams. Right. I don't know. But old school. Just And that's the start. Crispy and the boys, they're showing clients through. Yeah. Incense is burning. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. the real heavy stuff that makes you kind of hallucinate, just light. Yeah, yeah. And then as you're walking through the house, and then if they like signal, like, all right, is the signal. I'll get up, I'll put the guitar down, I'll walk in, start the rap. And do your thing. Set it up. S stitch yeah. it. Stitch it. Like the stitching that really happens at an open. If anything, an open is just time wasting. You're just hanging around putting a show on. The wrapping is back at the office during the week. Right. Most of the time, I wrap before the open anyway. Okay. Well, listen. You know, Vlad, um, we're 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 absolutely honoured to have uh, one of the best. You've come in. You've covered uh, some of your rituals. I mean, I've got to tell you, you've turned your life around. I mean, yeah. from a from a. Uh, a courier, right? Down and out. A truckie right. and a courier. Truckie. Twisted there was nothing. Both. Right. There was there was there was no reason in the world. you you you. We didn't talk about a high distinctions in a university degree here, right? No, I didn't get to uni. I actually failed high school as well. Okay, this is this is. I this spelled my name wrong. Nearly. Who knows what happened? Anyway, I wasn't allowed. Okay. Yes. And and you've turned your life around. Yeah. You're now in the top one percent in the industry. I think you're going to have a future much bigger than your past, the way that you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I hope and so. I hope so. Like, I'm just going to do the actions. The results will come of the actions. That's it. I can't predict the future. I just keep doing reps. Okay. Will you be, will you, will you be happy to... Will I be able to interview you again, see the progress of your career? I mean, I've, I've been in this business for 32 years. I, I like to follow someone that's getting the cut through. And um, I like I like what I'm hearing. I mean, you've been kind enough to share what you're doing, and I just think to myself that uh, there's no reason why you can't be one of the people that totally dominates for a decade. You can interview me any time. Like that's not a problem with me as long as I'm not in between deals and stuff. Like tonight, lucky my missus put the baby to bed. I had to do all the vacuuming before which is a little bit of a weird situation because I said, I'm going online with Tom Panos. She goes, Who, who's that? Vacuum the lounge before you leave. So that's why I was a little bit late. Yeah. But in regards to continuing some type of interviewing yeah. and think, like I'm keen, I want people to get more strategized. Like that's stop it. going away, going your way, start going this way. You'll be rapping. And, 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 and I can tell you like sharing. Well, that's like helping. Sharing is, sharing is caring, bro. Like the easiest no. rhyme out of all of them. Before no. you said some watch up, before you can get up. I've never heard that. But sharing is caring is the most usual used one. So definitely I'm going to keep right. sharing, let everyone know that I had a stitch. Susan, we're going to make sure that we put into the Facebook comments, both on Insta and Facebook, your um, 
uh, exact contact. Uh, we're going to tag you in so people can actually uh, follow you because I'm sure that uh, you've got stuff that happens throughout the week that you can share with people. I want to thank you so much for coming in and having this great uh, Million Dollar Agent interview. Oh, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Tom. Thank You're you a legend. So thank yourself, you. Thank you. Know? Thank you. Thank you. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Guys and girls, do me a favour, press that share button. This has been a quality interview with one of the best in the business.